What's up, everybody? Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. So I messed up on a previous video when talking about substitute assemblies that I should have explained how to substitute individual items and the four different areas that you can do it. So I apologize. This was a this is a real helpful feature when you just wanted to swap out of single items, but there are four different ways of doing it. So let's jump into it. Uh, first, you know, if you got to take off, just plug something in, select it, right click substitute items, or you can go to, I believe it's take off and I hit it right here, substitute items as well. So we'll go substitute items. All right, before you start taking anything off, you're gonna see up here that there is a range. And here there's four different options. Selected takeoffs, excluding designations. What this means is if you highlight the different takeoffs that you have in here, so you can hit control and select certain ones, or you can hit shift all, select one, and it'll select everything on there. And then you swap out one for one. That's what select takeoff means. Excluding designations. Excluding designation means anything that's above in here where you got the drop down box for your designations. Um, all takeoffs, excluding designations. So that just means everything you took off in your takeoffs, all those assemblies and stuff, it's going to grab and swap out anything from there. Um, all designations, same thing. If you took off 50 different F1 type fixtures and you wanted to swap out something within those designations, it it does that. It doesn't. You don't have to select the one. You don't have to select one or two. It just does it for all of them. Um, all takeoffs and designations. That just means if you select this for your entire job, whatever you do and swap out for what. It will do that for the entire thing, no matter if it's a designation or a takeoff. Um, really quick, if if uh, if you don't know how to do this, um, the next step would be item type. So it gives you the two options. You can do it in the item database or if you got temporary items, uh, which is pretty cool. So if you have, um, let's say you had something in here and... Um, let's, I don't know, wire THHN and, you know, maybe there's your number 12s or something and then you had to cut some weird wire that you created. You can actually go and click it in your temporary item. Once you click them both, you can hit substitute, substitute them out. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, it's, all you have to do is whatever in here. So wherever you have it available, so let's say you had, you know, number 12. So we'll do it really quick. You know, if you had number 12s. And the jobs, after you read the specs, it's buried in there. It says, oh, everything number 10 and lower, smaller, needs to be solids. Okay, simple enough. We could just go to your other side, which is 2. And hit wire, THHN, number 10, 12 solid, substitute, and it substitute out for you. So now uh, the screen will like do a flash and flash come back on. Um, I may have did 500s by accident. <laughs> One you can tell, you can come in here. And see if it did it. No, I did it. So you, it, I had number 12 THH in here. Um, if you wanted to swap it out, you could do the same thing again. Sub two items. We could do vice versa now and just say wire THHN, 12 solid, wire THHN. Swap it back to stranded. Close. I'll come back in here. And it's back to number 12 THHN stranded again. Uh, questions or comments, drop them below. If you haven't clicked subscribe, please do so. Thanks for watching.